Today we're studying object recognition in fish, and I'm here with my two students, Ashlyn and Amanda, who will be assisting me with this test. We're going to put this stimulus board into the fish tank, and the fish Poseidon needs to tap the circle with his mouth to get a food reward. If he taps the rectangle, he will not get a food reward. So Ashlyn is going to slip the board into the tank now, and she is going to give you a play-by-play -play of what Poseidon is doing as Amanda records. Circle once, taps the body of the syringe, taps the body of the syringe again, eats within five seconds. Try on number five, taps the circle once, eats immediately. The way we originally trained the fish was we started first by just providing them with the opportunity to get food from the syringe. So we placed the syringe at some different points within the tank and the fish eventually learned that if they approach the syringe, they get a bite of food. Next thing we did was we gave them one object in the tank on the stimulus board, and if the fish swam up to the object and touched it with its mouth, it would get food. From there, we went to the stage that you just saw with the two objects, with the circle and the rectangle. What I hope to gain from this experiment is some knowledge about how fish are able to represent objects visually and to compare that to how we as humans and other animals represent objects. In particular, I'm interested in knowing whether fish can recognize an object from any orientation visually just like humans can.